Hello, friends. As president, I often close my speeches by saying that Rotary is more than a club that you join. It is an invitation to endless opportunities. Leadership is one of those opportunities. Now that you are rising to important roles in our organization, your leadership demands will increase. You will need to be creative and open-minded. You will need to build new avenues of leadership for others. In my experience, a successful Rotary leader understands the needs and challenges of their clubs and districts. We have a Rotary Action Plan that sets out very clear goals that will help strengthen Rotary in your district. This is your opportunity to take this plan and lead with strategic participation. When we act together, we speak not only for ourselves, we become the voice of our organization's strategic intentions. Understanding our goals is important, but you also need to be very clear about the necessities. We are an organization of almost 1.4 million people, and it sometimes seems like we are eager to discuss 1.4 billion ideas. We should be full of enthusiasm for the good we can do. But knowing our limitations and staying focused is just as important as knowing our potential. Doing what is necessary does not mean simply repeating actions of the past. Conducting regular meetings is essential. But that does not mean we must hold the same meetings at the same times, serving the same lunches as always. The style of our meetings does not define us. Friendships and connections define us. Our goal is to foster human contacts that transcend borders and generations and to use this for the common good. We must carry on the necessary parts of our past while embracing the future. And this brings me to my own experience in Rotary leadership and the special demands of leadership in a pandemic. This was an almost unique opportunity to initiate change, to inspire and to give courage, despite the greatest problems worldwide. President Mark Maloney helped start us on this path, and then it was up to me to continue this journey to guide Rotary as we met numerous challenges. And so we adapted. Instead of traveling the Rotary world, my home became a global Rotary headquarters, and I used this opportunity to see as much of us as virtually possible. Change wasn't all about technology. We were also taking major steps to elevate Rotaract, taking stronger stands on diversity and tolerance and putting special emphasis on taking care of each other as we struggled with difficult and often very sad times. The human toll can never be reversed, but we survived the most difficult times together. We were gratified to learn that when the world demands change, difficult choices become necessary. Cultural barriers fall, Impatience became a virtue. People became more willing to try whatever works. The pandemic reinforces to me that all that is good in Rotary happens because of inspiration. As a Rotary president, I could encourage members to work closely with Rotaractors and young Rotarians and to give them meaningful leadership opportunities. I counted on them throughout my term with important responsibilities, and they never disappointed me. As a president, I could encourage members to form new clubs and new club experiences. But I could never dream up the innovative approaches that resulted. New club creators deserve the credit for seizing on the inspiration. You will soon understand that good leadership comes from the inspiration and encouragement of others. Any personal striving for power 
or leaving your own lasting mark will never work out as you planned. Continuity is crucial to your success. You will fail in your efforts unless you work with your predecessors and successor to reach shared goals. We are all striving to make progress toward the goals of Rotary, which are clearly outlined in our action plan. Today, change is all around, and you will see firsthand that leadership and inspiration must come from all members, from all ages, backgrounds, genders, and beliefs. Open minds and endless opportunities are the paths forward for Rotary and our chance to offer a beacon to the future. You have all the tools of leadership you need. It is now in your hands to inspire and to give courage and to stand back with pride as others do things you could never imagine. Thank you for answering this call.